Kakadosh Boker Or, Mishnah Yomi Mesechet, Baba Batra, Perek Gimel, this is the third chapter, Mishnah Aleph and Bet, the first and second Mishnah of Perek Gimel. So we're going to speak about Cheskat Abatin. This is talking about Chazakot. How long does it take to establish a Chazaka? So it says here in the Mishnah, Cheskat Abatin v'aborov v'ashichim v'amarov v'shavachot, v'mer chatzaot u'bet abadin. If someone wishes to establish a chazaka, whether well, it's going to be on houses, we're talking about different types of pits. Remember, there's the pits, ditches, vaults, you know, the long, they're narrow, the square, you know, are they paved, all those things. Dovecoats, that's going to be the shovach. The merchatzaot is a bathhouse, right? Olive press is beta badin. And bet ha shlachin is going to be the irrigated fields that they need irrigation as well as just the rainwater, meaning in addition to it. And avadim. And anything which constantly produces fruits or anything produces. So he says, You need a chazakah three full years from the first day until the last day, which means that he needs a chazakah the entire time, right? In three consecutive years, because if not, if you're going to be here a few months here, a few months here, yeah, but maybe it's not really yours. So therefore, you need three full years. A rainwatered field. Right, the law is that it's it's a chazaka. It's going to be three years of uncontested use, which means that nobody's coming and saying anything against you. But it does not need to be from day to day, right? From one year until the last day of the third year, because he says that since it's not irrigated and depends on only rainwater, it only produces a single crop each year. So therefore, it's not in constant use. So therefore, you don't need to be there the entire time. You only made, you made one crop. Come on, no, that's it. If it's constantly, so you're making one crop and another crop and another crop, so you have to be there the entire time. Rabbi Shmel Omer, Rabbi Shmel says, Shlosha chodashim barishona, shlosha bachrona, shlema chodash pemtza. So comes and he says, okay, fine. How much do you need with the rainwater field? Because at the end of the day, we just said that you don't have to be there the entire time. So he says, you need three months of the first year, three months of the last year, and the full middle year. And that's how you make a chazakah. That means you do have three years, but it's like a sandwich. You have the middle year full, the three months in the first, three months in the last, so it's going to be 18 months in a total. Okay, and that's how you're going to make a chazaka. Rabbi Akiva comes and he says, Rabbi Akiva Omer, No, it's even one month in the first in the first year, one month in the last year, and then it's going to be, so it's going to be one month, one month, and then the 12 months in the middle, so it's going to be 14 months. Amar Rabbi Ishmael, says Rabbi Ishmael, one of these words, right, that we just said right now, only in a stelavan, which is a rainwater field. But when it's going to be an orchard, which cuts trees and vines and things like that, if he's going to gather the grapes, the olives and the figs, remember that in Hebrew, it's always different languages, but you're doing the same thing. It's like harvesting. So to do with tivua, it's you're gathering it together. To do with zetim, it's mesikat, mosek zetav. And to do with keneset kitzo, again, you're bringing in the figs. Harelu shalosh shanim, this is equivalent to three years, and you establish a chazaka in one year. Because since that single year you came and you got from all the different produces, you right from all the different products, so therefore, right, it does it happens at different times, so therefore it's going to be enough. That was Mishnah Aleph. Mishnah Bet. Shalosh aratzot lachazaka. Okay, we just learned that a chazaka is three years, nobody contests, nobody protests, nobody says it's mine. So therefore you're quiet, you have a chazaka, it's yours. What about the different countries? So it says, Shalosh Aratzot lechazaka. There's going to be three different provinces in Eretz Israel with regards to chazaka. Yehuda, Ever Yarden, and Galil. You talk about Yehuda, the Yarden, and Ever Galil. Okay, these are the three different regions which are separate provinces to do with chazaka. Hayab Yehuda, if a person was in Yuda and he made a chazaka in the Galil for three years, or Galil and he made a chazaka in the Yehuda, in a chazaka, it's not a chazaka, because even though he used it for three years, the no chazaka was established. Why? Because he's out of the he's out of the country, the owner. So if the owner is out of the country, how in the world is he going to protest? He doesn't know. He has to be in the same country, because basically, if he's here and he's watching you, he's like, hey, 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 this is mine. But if he's out of town, he doesn't even know you're there. Nowadays, again, social media, everything, it's completely different. But in the olden days, how's somebody going to know that he's out of town, somebody's at his house? He's not going to know. It's very, very difficult to know. Amar Rabbi Yehuda says Rabbi Yehuda, Lo amru shalosh anim, right? What was the reason of the shalosh anim of Chazakah? Ela kadeh shiye paspamia, yachzik shana, yelchuv yidu shana, 
He says, you know why they did th- three full years? He says, in order that even if the guy is going to be all the way off in Spain, in the olden days, remember in the time of the Mishnayot and everything, right? And it could be even before, this is where they didn't have when, you know, Columbus and everything that they discovered America. So whenever they, they meant like the end of the world, they would always speak about Spain because for them, Spain was the end of the world. It didn't extend further than that. So therefore, it says over here, the entire purpose was that even if you're on the other side of the world, right? And it's going to take you a year to travel to there. But fine, it's going to be a year, right? That he's coming in. It's going to be a year, right? That the guy's going to come and he's going to tell him about it, right? And then a year, for the guy to travel back and to start contesting and saying, this is my land, what are you doing in my land? So therefore, according to Rabbi Yehuda, that's what he doesn't agree to the Chachamim of the previous Mishnah, that he says it's a three years is because that, you know, he keeps track of his bill of sale until the end of, you know, three years without being challenged. He says, no, he holds a three-year period was a benefit of the previous owner in order to contest, even if he's going to be in a far off a land. So therefore, according to Rabbi Yehuda, that's what he says, someone can make a chazaka even if the owner of the land is not there. Because the fact that it passed three years that's it. The guy already lost out. So that is Allah. This is again, this is the the what the Mishnah is saying in Shitat, Rabbi Yudah. Obviously, we would have to see, right, how uh the Gimana and how everyone paskins. Have a wonderful day.